How's it going everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be learning how to program the Bofeng GM15 Pro handheld GMRS radio. We're going to be doing it starting off with the very basics, how to navigate the menu, how to make basic menu changes. We're going to turn off those annoying beeps and the annoying voice options in the radio so every time you hit a button it's not going to beep and talk back to you. Uh, we're going to also be programming in a custom frequency. It's actually going to be our uh, emergency dispatch frequency for my area into a custom channel and then we're going to show you how to add that channel to your scanning bank so you can scan that along with other channels that you want to scan so, uh, for example the GRMS channels or any other custom frequencies and channels you might have added and then I'm going to show you how to get into a weather mode which is going to be where you can listen to the NOAA emergency broadcast frequencies so with that said let's get started so what we're going to do is do an overview of the various buttons on the keypad starting with the button in the upper left hand most corner of the keypad. This is going to be your main menu button as well as your select button. To the right of that is going to be an up and down button. These buttons are going to let you navigate through the various menu as well as menu options. And then the furthest to the right is going to be your back button. This is what you're going to use to navigate back different menu levels all the way back to your main screen. And also is a dual purpose button. You can see that there's a little picture of a cloud there. And this is what's going to let you get into weather mode when you hold down that button for roughly four or five seconds. Continuing along underneath the back button is going to be the asterisk or star button. And if you look at the little icon there, there's a picture of a key. If you hold this button for four or five seconds, it will actually lock your keypad so you don't mistakenly uh, punch in any uh, menu options or any frequencies or anything like that while you're having the radio in your pocket or your backpack. And if we go all the way to the lower right, we're looking at the pound symbol and it looks like the letter Z. And this is the button we're going to hold and press to turn on scan mode and when we want to scan the various channels that we're going to program into the radio. So what we're going to do now is make two basic changes to the radio to help you get familiarized with how to get into the menu, how to navigate the menu, and how to make basic changes within the menu. So what we're going to do is change that keypad beep. It's that beep that we hear every time we scroll through various menu options as well as the voice feedback, which is that voice you will hear every time you change a channel or menu options or scroll through various menus. So what we're going to do is hit the menu button to get into the menu. And then we're going to go down with the down arrow to menu option 13, also labeled voice. Hit menu again, which is going to let us make changes to this menu option. And you can see here the menu options are highlighted. And you can use the up and down arrows to scroll through the various options you can select. And of course, we want to turn it off here and select off and then hit menu to confirm the change. And then what we can do is use the up and down arrows to scroll through the menu until you find the beep menu option. So we're going to go ahead and oh, go back up. Looks like it's menu option number seven. Hit menu again. We're going to scroll through the options, right, just like we did before. And you can see here that you can select between on and off with this particular menu option. Go to off and then hit menu again. And now you can see that the beep is turned off as well as the voice. We're going to go ahead and hit the back button to go back to the main screen here. And then what we're going to do next is program in a custom frequency to a custom channel. So before we get started, I just want to show you kind of a little bit of a quirk with this radio. They have actually programmed in a couple custom channels already. And so what I'm going to do is just scroll through these channels. So what I'm going to do is just show you the last channel uh, of your normal GRMS channels. That's going to be channel 22. And then they have pre-programmed repeater channels, which is really handy to have. Uh, and we'll get into those in a separate video. And if you notice, uh, after the repeater channels, it starts with DIY all the way, you know, keep scrolling all the way up. And there's quite a few of these. I believe there's 24, 25 of these. All right. So we're going to keep going up, keep going up, keep going up. Three, four. And then now it goes back to channel one. So if you look in the upper right hand corner of these two memory banks, you'll see 054. Okay, 054, that uh, basically is the um, a total channel number, the actual channel number, right? They call it DIY24, but that's just a label. That's just a name for this, right? Kind of like the repeater channels. But technically speaking, on the radio, it's programmed as channel 54. I know it's a little bit confusing, but you always want to pay attention to that 
rightmost number. And what we're going to be doing is programming in a custom frequency to channel uh, number 55, okay? You cannot overwrite the DIY channels unless you plug this radio into a computer, which we're not gonna do today. So what I'm gonna do now is program in a custom frequency. This is actually gonna be the frequency for my local dispatch for fire and EMS. And we're gonna be programming that into uh, channel number 55, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and hold down the menu option, all right? The menu button also serves as the button that lets you switch between what's called the channel mode and a frequency mode. When you're in frequency mode, it lets you plug in custom frequencies on the radio. However, when you are in um, channel mode, then you're working with just channels. So I'm gonna hold this button down and you can see now it changed to frequency mode and you can tell because it says VFO to the very right of the screen here, okay? So now what I'm gonna do here, you can see this uh, arrow pointing to the right. That means I'm at the bottom bank. The radio has two banks. If I use the back button, I can switch between the top and the bottom. And you know what? We'll just go ahead and use the top just for fun, all right? So we're at the top and we're gonna go ahead and plug in my frequency now because we're in frequency mode. We're gonna type four six zero four zero zero just using the keypad and now we have my uh, ems fire dispatch frequency technically on the radio and at this point you can actually start hearing dispatch if they're making calls and things like that but what we're going to do now is we're actually going to program this into a custom channel uh, which is going to be channel number 55 so we're going to hit menu and i'm going to scroll down until i see memchan okay you can hear you can hear dispatch already uh, calling in on that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the volume down. Uh, keep scrolling down here all the way down to whoop. All right, so it's gonna be memory. All right. So what I'm gonna do here is hit the menu button again on the men memory menu option, and we're gonna scroll up to channel 55 there, right? So you can go up and down and you can select the channel that you want. But remember, channels uh, one through 54 are already taken between the pre-programmed GRMS, repeater, and DIY labeled channels. So we're gonna start off with channel 55 here. And then I'm gonna hit menu option again to confirm, okay? Now what we can do is hold that menu button down again for about four seconds. And now you'll see that we're on channel 55, right? And if I scroll up, it starts over at channel one, and if I go down one, you can see why where it ends at DI, a channel labeled 24, even though it's technically channel number 54, okay? So at this point now, you have your channel uh, 55 with a custom frequency in it for your emergency dispatch, which means you can actually hold down the scan button. Again, it's that um, pound symbol with the letter Z, the lower right hand most button, you hold that down. And it'll actually start scanning through all the channels, right? Now, here's the thing. You can start uh, scanning all the GRMS and repeater channels, and that's fine. But maybe you don't want to scan all those DIY channels, right? Because they don't really do anything, and you can only configure them from your computer. So what I'm going to show you how to do is disable scanning on any number of these channels that you uh, want to disable so that you're not wasting time scanning through channels that you just don't care about. So we'll go ahead and hit the uh, scan button again to stop. And what we're gonna do is just go down to say DIY 24. Let's say for example, we do not want to include this in our scanning. So select the channel that you wanna get rid of, like stop scanning on, right? So this is, in this case, it's DIY 24 or AKA channel number 54. Hit the menu option. We're gonna scroll all the way down until we see this scan. Oop, scan range, scan add, it says on hit menu option and say off here, all right? So again, you're working with the, ch in the, when you're in the menu system, you're working for the channel, uh, working with the channel uh, and fr or frequency that you're currently on, right? Uh, so we'll hit the back button again. And now if you wanna disable, say channel uh, DIY 23 or channel 50, 53, hit down, menu option again, happens to stay on the same menu. Now this channel is still in scan mode, so we can turn uh, get rid of the um, scanning capabilities of this channel and hit menu again, and so on and so forth. And then when we hit uh, the scan button here, um, it will skip DIY 23 and 24 or channel uh, 53 and 54 
uh, because we turned scan off for those particular channels. And you see here in just a second, we're at definitely skipped 53 and 54. Now what I'm gonna show you how to do is get into weather scanning mode. So weather scanning mode is gonna let you basically scan the various NOAA emergency uh, weather frequencies. They're pre-programmed into your radio and there are some additional frequencies out there which you can uh, more than welcome to program into custom channels if you want, if you find a better frequency that's not uh, pre-programmed. However, these are the main ones that NOAA broadcasts on. And what I'm going to do is show you how to get into that uh, weather mode and also how to start scanning those weather channels so you can uh, pick up the one that's closest to you. Uh, so what we're going to do is just hold down the rightmost button. It's that back button. Remember, it's a dual purpose button that also uh, is for getting into weather mode. We're going to hold that down for about four seconds. And now you can see here we are in uh, the weather channel mode or the weather mode. And when you're in weather mode, you can't talk on your radio. It pretty much now dedicates your radio just for listening to the weather. And then you can hold that right, uh, lower rightmost button, the pound symbol with the little Z on it. You can hold that down and it should start scanning the various uh, frequencies. But it looks like... North winds around five miles an hour. Yep, so because it's uh, actually have a clear signal, it's not gonna let me start scanning, but let me go up one. Okay, so now you can, uh, I can go ahead and enter scan mode now. Hold that scan button down and you can see it's gonna start scanning till to pick something up, okay? And then if you wanna get out of weather mode, you just simply hold down that back button, but I will let you know that if you are currently listening to a broadcast like we are, At Western Port, 1.9. then it's not gonna let you go back to regular uh, channel or radio mode. So what you need to do is actually go up to a weather channel that is not currently broadcasting, say channel uh, two or three here, and then hit the back button and then that should pull you out. So what I'm gonna do now is program in a repeater channel with CTCSS privacy codes. If you want more information on what privacy codes are and what they do and how they work, I have a special video dedicated just to explaining what that is. However, for the purposes of this video, we're gonna go ahead and just show you how to program in those privacy codes. And they are not only used for repeaters, I'm just doing it here. Uh, this is gonna be GRMS channel number 25. It's got a repeater channel. I just need to program in these CTCSS codes so that I can communicate on our local repeater here. However, you can still have privacy codes for radio to radio without a repeater. So what I'm gonna do is go down to GRMS channel 25. I'm gonna scroll on down. That's gonna be uh, the pre-programmed labeled channel as repeater three, but it is GRMS channel number 25. I'm gonna hit the menu option. <clears throat> I'm gonna scroll down until I find CTCSS. Oh, there we have it. So this is transmission CTCSS. So I'm gonna hit menu option again. And I'm gonna scroll up to 123 kilohertz all the way up. There we go, I'm gonna hit menu option again. And then I'm gonna go down to RX CTCSS. So this is the receiving um, uh, privacy code for CTCSS. And this is basically what your radio is listening for so that it'll let you actually listen to the communication if it detects a CTCSS that was transmitted. All right, oh, go back down to 23, hit menu option again to confirm the selection and we should be good to go. And of course, now that you know how to navigate the menu, you can make just about any menu change that you're gonna to wanna to make to customize your radio. And of course, remember, uh, if you want to uh, program in those custom channels that you're gonna to wanna to start with channel number 55 and up with this radio because they have all those DIY um, channels in there that you can't uh, program unless you use a computer. And folks, that's a wrap for this tutorial on the Bofeng GM-15 Pro GRMS radio. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.